April 20th, St. Agnes of Monte Pusiano. She was born in the year 1268 in Tuscany, Italy, and she died April 20th in the year 1317 at the convent of Monte Pusiano of natural causes following a lengthy illness. Legend says that at the moment of her death, all the babies in the region, no matter how young, began to speak of Agnes her piety and her passing this holy virgin was a native of monte pulciano in tuscany she had scarce attained to the use of reason when she conceived an extraordinary relish and ardor for prayer and in her infancy often spent whole hours in reciting the our father and hail mary on her knees in some private corner of a chamber at nine years of age she was placed by her parents in a convent of sacians of the order of st francis so called from their habit or at least their scapular being made of sackcloth agnes in so tender an age was a model of all virtues to this austere community and she renounced the world though of a plentiful fortune being sensible of its dangers before she knew what it was to enjoy it at fifteen years of age she was removed to a new foundation of the order of st dominic at proseno in the county of orvieto and appointed abbess by pope nicholas the fourth she slept on the ground with a stone under her head in lieu of a pillow and for fifteen years she fasted always on bread and water till she was obliged by her directors on account of sickness to mitigate her austerities her townsmen earnestly desiring to be possessed of her again demolished a lewd house and erected upon the spot a nunnery which they bestowed on her this prevailed on her to return and she established in this house of nuns the order of st dominic which rule she herself professed the gifts of miracles and prophecy rendered her famous among men though humility charity and patience under her long sickness were the graces which recommended her to god she died at monte pulciano on the twentieth of april in the year thirteen seventeen being forty-three years of age her body was removed to the dominican's church of orvieto in the year fourteen thirty five where it remains clement the eighth approved her office for the use of the order of st dominic and inserted her name in the roman martyrology she was solemnly canonized by benedict the thirteenth in the year seventeen twenty six many stories grew up around agnes some of which are that she was known to levitate up to two feet in the air while praying where she knelt to pray violets lilies and roses would suddenly bloom and she could feed the convent with a handful of bread once she prayed over it lastly when her body was moved to the church of orvieto it was found to be incorrupt 